Ah, uh, nothing like a good Playboy. Resort. Playboy Resort. What's going on Midwest Skiers and Riders? Matthew Zabranski with MidwestSkiers.com where we talk about all things skiing and riding in the Midwest. But today we are going to take a look at the Playboy Ski Resorts and how you can actually still ski one in the Midwest today. It sounds uh, interesting, doesn't it, Ben? It all started in the late 1950s when Hugh Hefner envisioned a VIP club under his legendary Playboy brand. The idea came after seeing some sophisticated gaslight clubs that required you to be a key holder in order to gain access. Let's see here. We got a car key, piano key. Hugh ran with this idea, and in 1960, he would open the first ever Playboy Club in downtown Chicago. Anybody could become a key member by paying the $50 fee, which is equivalent to about $440 a day. You know, it does seem like a good value, even at that price. The club offered food, drinks, entertainment, and of course, all of the members were served by the iconic Playboy bunnies. Ah, yep, those bunnies, yep. The club was so successful that Hugh opened many more clubs across major cities in the United States, but the growth wouldn't stop there. Hugh expanded his vision for more clubs and began building resorts that offered many more amenities. This included things like shops, bars, salons, golfing, swimming, and some even skiing. Now, this is what I'm talking about. While there only were a few Playboy resorts that offered skiing, the very first one was located in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Hugh broke ground on this new resort in August of 1966 by setting off a piece of dynamite. Fire in the hole! He did this instead of using the traditional shovel, and the resort would live up to the bang. It included a Frank Lloyd Wright-inspired hotel, indoor-outdoor swimming pool, two championship golf courses, and a ski lounge that was designed in the shape of two interlocking snowflakes. The resort would officially open on May 6, 1968, and that winter they would open their 20-acre ski resort complete with two double chairs and four runs. And they did not skimp on the ski resort either. The resort was designed by the same individual who designed the lodges at Squaw Valley, Stratton, and what is now known as Mountain Creek. And they also brought in the freestyle pioneer Art Furr to direct the ski school. Back to school, back to school, to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. Over the years, they would add another chairlift, rope toes, develop more runs, and label the different areas as Hot Dog Mountain, Mount Playboy, and the Bunny Hill. Hot Dog Mountain, hmm. And of course, to complete the research on this historic hill, I had to pull out the 1978 Midwest Ski Guide, and this statement was made to summarize the experience. If you're a partying skier, this is the place to go, but it is expensive. I mean, I could only imagine what the Opry ski scene would look like there. Unfortunately, the very successful Playboy branded clubs would face an uphill battle and ultimately the resort would close in 1981. The remaining Playboy resorts would all close shortly after, closing the book on Playboy's famed resorts. Reasons cited for the closures were changing tastes and poor financial performance. But that's not where the story ends because a few years and one owner later, the Marcus Corporation would purchase the property, reviving it as Grand Geneva Resort and Spa. They would initiate a complete renovation with updates to the hotel's guest rooms, golf courses, and property grounds, including the former Playboy ski area. Flash forward to today and the resort offers a variety of amenities and things to do throughout both the summer and winter months. They have continued to upgrade their ski hill and it now boasts 22 runs serviced by three chairlifts and two magic carpets. Given its great variety of amenities and things to do, it's a great destination for families looking to hit the slopes but want more than just a simple skiing experience. But there you guys go, Playboy's brief run in the ski industry and how you can still ski the trails from Playboy's original Hot Dog Mountain today. If you want to learn more about the resort or plan your trip today, head on over to GrandGeneva.com. I hope all of you guys have a great week, pray for snow, and until next time, I'll see you guys out there.